The finance minister has expressed reluctance to cut the hours of work for customs officers to reduce expenditure on wages and salaries. His comments came during a meeting of the Standing Committee of Parliament on the estimated draft heads of expenditure for his ministry. The minister responded to questions about making full-time employees part-time instead. Members should know customs officers are public servants. So if I was to contemplate hiring customs officers on a shift system, I think I'd have to have a chat with Watson Duke to see whether he would agree that public servants could be hired on a shift system. So I don't think that's on the cards. But I will certainly take a very close look at customs over time. Um, Opposition up. member Suraj Ratan Rambachan asked whether the minister would consider reducing the staff numbers at the port because of a reduction in shipments. Minister Imbert said uh, thorough security checks at customs was a critical element of national security. Trouble in this country with drugs, arms and ammunition and other contraband and illegal items coming through in containers and therefore I would not want to reduce the level of surveillance even if let's assume that you are correct there has been a reduction in number of containers that d does not necessarily lead to a reduction in the work of the customs there are concerns from the opposition regarding the 40 million dollars allocated for contracted services for auditors and lawyers Opposition member Dr. Bo Tawari shared a similar view as the finance minister that this tends to be one avenue for corruption. I think the number and amount, the number of times contracted services appears in the Ministry of Finance and as we will see in the ministries, it is all over every ministry. And the way they keep coming up, it is something that warrants some concern. And I simply wish to flag the matter as an issue that we must monitor. The Finance Minister Com Imbert insisted the intention was to avoid corruption in Phoenix Park public offering, as was the case with the FCB IPO. The minister added that the government could earn up to $4 billion from divestment programs with widespread participation by John Public. He said TTNGL was floated at $20 and jumped to $23, but can generate much more. If you just shifted by $1, the state could earn an additional $200 million. So that I am certain that once we procure the right people, that we'll get the most out of this divestment program. We are going to try and raise about $4 billion from divestment in 2017.